Hi everyone, Cheryl here today with Cadoodle Bug Designs and today we're going to be working on Birthday Goodies Gus. Isn't he cute? And so I am going to be showing you the little whiskers today on him and so we'll go ahead and do that and I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Oh, and then I'll be using just a brush and some ink. Um, I use the re-inker for the hat. And so let's go ahead and get started so we can just kind of breeze through this. If you're new, you can click on this right hand box on the screen if you're on a, a cell phone and enlarge the screen so you'll be able to see everything. And so I'm gonna go ahead and get started. So the first thing we wanna do is his tail. And so the color I'm using is the Puma Stone. It's just a distressed ink. And I'm going to use that on as much of this tail as I can. Um, and then I'm going to show you just bringing in a pin. Whoops, trying not to bend that. So just try to do that like so. And then I just come in with a marker. You could use any light, light gray. I'm using a C1 Copic. It really doesn't matter. If you don't have a Copic, you can use any marker. Just coming in and getting, filling in the areas um, that you couldn't get with the pad. Whoops. And I think that's good enough. So his tail does go on first. It goes under the ear. So we're going to just go ahead and try to get that on there. Whoops. Sometimes it's easier to start up at the top. And then just kind of bring it where you need it to be. Okay, so you can press down if you have a rag, you can just kind of press that down. And so we have the tail on. And so now we can go ahead and get his ears on. And I did prep both the ears. I used the Puma Stone on all the gray and even the light gray on this as well. And so we'll get the ears on. And I have to kind of lift it just so I can see. And then I can press it down once I'm sure it's where it needs to be. Then I just give it a little press, trying not to touch any of the glue. I'm just using the end of that Viker tool. This is the one I get off at Amazon. Um, it comes in a set of two with four of the wax things if you're new. Um, I like to let you know. I did put a link just in case um, under it's the if you look under the video, there's a more. If you click on that more, it'll open it up. Okay, so now we want to do the little pink part. And on the pink, I just used the sponge sugar. So all my um pink pieces are done in that, and I will be just distressing one of the pieces just to kind of show. You can kind of just put these however so and then give those a push down and then now we want to do the arms we'll get the arms on next and then we want our legs on and so the arms are prepped so if we're not sure where these arms are going to go we could take the body let's just get them on here really quick So I kind of put it right. So if you're not really sure, you could always take the body and put the body on and then always bring in, you can bring in the head and just to see if the head is gonna go. I think that looks pretty good. So I'm gonna leave it right about where it's at. And so I wanna add, push those down and then I'm gonna add these legs on next. And so place the right leg first, and that gives you your placement for the other leg. It'll just help, makes it easier anyways. 
And then I can go ahead and just add some random glue, just however, I don't really mind that too much. And we'll kind of get that. And I do have it up on top. I don't have it butted up. So I think I want to bring there, that right about there. Okay. And I'm thinking, I'm hoping that the body looks good where it's at. So we're going to put that body on next. And I think that looks good because a cupcake will come in. Whoops. Okay, so the cupcake in his hand come over here. So, so we have the body. Now we can go ahead and place the head and the hat. And so on the head, I'm just going to add some glue. I'm using the art glitter glue on this one. But on this head, I'm thinking right about there. But if you're not sure, you could always come in and try to get this hat where you think it's gonna go. And I think the hat goes right there. And then this goes right here. And then he has his little cheeks, which we'll do up next. So I think that's gonna probably look good. So we're gonna put that down and then we're gonna put him aside for just a moment. Cause now I'm gonna ink up really quick um, his little cheeks. So his cheeks I did, whoops, the cheeks I did ink up, so just those go kind of like so so what was the piece I didn't the hat we need to do that so I'm using bashful blue and I'm just going to use the rounded dauber and I just kind of come in hold my piece down and then just kind of come in in circular motion Okay, and I think that's it for the blue, so I'm done with that. So on the hat, what I did was I don't have the ink pad for that yellow, and this is one of my favorite yellows. It's Barely Banana, and the paper is Barely Banana. So I just put some of this on my glass mat. You can use one of the heat safe mats and it wipes up just as well. And then I just used the brush and came in along the edge on this. And I thought I should start using some of the brushes just in case um, some of you have brushes and you want to use those just to kind of show that they work as well. So we've got the head on. And so now we want to put the hat on. And um, we also are going to do on here, you could kind of see I put the cheeks above the little um, rim or brim on his hat. And so... I'm going to go ahead and get this, some glue on the back of the hat. And then try to get that placed. So I like that we can kind of just move this where we need it to be. And I'm hoping we're still good. Hopefully. Okay. We'll know in a minute here. Okay, so we got the hat and then... And we'll get the brim and then the cheeks. So I'm going to do this right here, like so. Okay, and then his little cheeks. This is the piece that goes down first. It's got the little mouth on it. We can kind of see that. Oops. And then the little cheeks kind of come right there. Okay. And so the nose is going to cover up right there. And the nose is also done in the sponge sugar. And I'm just using the dauber. Now, I did cut out an uh, extra nose for each, and we're going to do some whiskers. So if you're not sure how to do that, um, 
I'm trying to think. I have a video coming out that I where I can cut away pieces and just show you. Um, and so I always run the mat back through and cut a couple extras on certain things. But we're gonna lay down. Uh, we're gonna lay the one nose down first. So this one, this one's gonna hold the whiskers. So I want the glue there. Get some glue there. Okay, so for the whiskers, I'm just using some really old transparent nylon thread. I have newer thread that I keep in my sewing room, and this thread here is old, so I figured I could use it down here. But I just do two loops on each side and leave a little tail, and you're not going to really be able to see this. So two loops. Oops. And to do it, hold on, let's see. I can't do it in the camera, right? Under the camera. So basically it's like, because I don't have enough room to see what I'm doing. And you don't have to worry about the length. So you can just wrap it around the finger, I guess. Okay, now I can kind of see. And then we just want to cut that. We'll cut it, we'll cut all our pieces shorter once we get them. So then I just take and whoops, and I just sh shook you. And I'm just twisting the center. So, and you can see there's loops. We don't need them super long, but so I want the center like that. And then I'm going to add it to the back of one of the noses. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on the back of one of these. And then just get that right behind there. And there's a real long whisker I could see. So once you have them, you can go ahead and get your nose placed down. And I add an extra nose, and then I'll cut the whiskers after I'm done. But I added an extra nose because I wanted it covered up just in case it had any little, whoops, little bumps or anything like that. I did a bunny with whiskers several months ago and I used the little stamens, but you could use probably fishing wire. I was gonna uh, do that and see how it looked. Okay, so once we have the nose on, we can come in and I know I have smaller scissors. Instead of putting those big old scissors. So, and you're probably not going to see this. I just cut these little whiskers. And then I want them shorter. So, I'm just going to snip off any of the excess um, that I don't need. And we'll just cut. You know, you can leave them long. Cut them short. There's one. Okay. Okay. And so I think I'm going to just leave them like that. They're pretty long for right now. I could cut them short once I once I figure out what what it's going on. But they're just they're very uh transparent and they're cute though. You could see them in person, but super fun. Okay. So now we're going to add let's go ahead and add our dots and the cheeks and the nose. Um, so we got the nose and we can put the cake on after. So the, for the cheeks, I'm going to use a light pink, um, just to do the little cheeks right here. And then blow off. And then I did add some black dots. So I'm going to do one to the inside and two. Okay. And then... We can add, I've got the white pin right here. I just add a little dots up on the ears, kind of like I do on my bears. And then here, and then for this little hat, you can just kind of come in and do dots or lines, whatever you want. And then I did add one white dot to each side. And I think that's it on that. Okay, so we're gonna add the dots right here. So we get one here, probably one here. Think of one here, one here. We'll put one here. Now you could put these dots on first. I'm adding them on now. Um, to me, it really does. It doesn't matter. Like it's really up to you how, however you want to do it. But 
and I did not do any um, distressing on these. Uh, you could add some stickles or some glitter. So we're going to have probably this one probably right there. We have a small one we can put. So this, ah, the paper is there. Okay. And then I should have a couple more right up here. I'm just going to put this one there. And then this one right here. You can clean up the glue if you need to. Okay. Okay. Make sure they're pushed down. All right. And then the little thing on top of the hat, it did come with a bigger piece that it cuts out and I left it off because I added um, some glitter, but I'll probably add it on this one just so you can kind of see without adding the glitter because the glitter's pretty easy to do. I have... Um, okay, and so that big dot is this one right here. So there's the big dot, and it just goes right there. Okay, and then his little cupcake. We're going to add, um, let's do this cupcake first over here. So we're going to add the brown part first. And that one I did do in the frayed burlap. I can, I've got the smaller one that I, I've never put a little bit of glue on the back of that. And then we can just kind of move that in where we think. And then the frayed burlap. I just did on the edges, not too much. Okay, so that's the other cupcake. So now we'll do the little liner down here, the icing. And that one I did in the sponge sugar as well. When I did all the pinks, I tried to and then you can kind of just move that. Kind of see where you need to place it and then press that down. Now you could always use the rag or to press that down. Okay. And so now we want this top icing and the top icing I didn't do. So and again, I'm using sponge sugar, just holding this down and going in a circular motion. Probably should have cleaned all the ink off of here, but okay. And so that one's just going to go right up here. And... Then we can kind of place it, just make sure the little whiskers. Okay, and if I have to clean up any glue, I can just, again, take and clean that up. Okay. And then we have the little cherries, and then we're also going to have the little paw which I think goes right here. So we have that. And then we'll do a cherry there. We'll have to add some more glue. So it kind of goes. I could have put, a, I could have put that under. Okay, that looks good. And then we have a cupcake over here. So we'll put the 
little liner. Get that on, and then the icing. You could always put your ice or the glue under the icing piece. This is just to kind of get that done. Okay. And you can just clean up any little bit. Make sure the whiskers aren't caught <laughs> under. And then we have the little pink that goes there. And then his little last little paw here. Okay, so just press that down really good. And I think we're done. I'm just going to add some white. The whites. So I've got the one a little bit here. I always like to do the white on the paws. And then you could do a very faint on that part. And then I do like to come in and do little swirlies and a dot. Swirly dot dot. And then you can come up with a dot. And then the same thing down here. Dot swirly dot little swirl up and a dot and then on his foot there and do one here and then get this cupcake and I think that's pretty much it you could do little lines up here if you wanted and maybe on the tail and I think that's it and then if you want to add some glitter I just came in you could do like um stickles or just add any glitter that you have and i'm just gonna put on usually I go over a tray where's my little tray probably got and then just tap that and then and there you have it and so i do hope you enjoyed my video today and if you did give me a thumbs up and if you have any questions please leave me a message and thanks for stopping by have a good day